Yeah, good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm very happy before God uh, who gave us uh, this precious time also today to share the heart of God together with our brother and sisters. And I believe that uh, I believe that though uh, in our life we find many challenges and problems, but really while our heart connect with the heart of God, and I believe that this heart of God may give us strength and power. Amen. Because we hear Pastor Bob's message, he was teaching about um, connection. And you know, when our heart connect with my own thought, or with my own flesh, always there is no hope, despair, worry, challenge, fear. But what if our heart connect with the heart of God, there is a hope and peace and joy and happiness. Amen. So every morning, I know it is not easy, but you spare the time to come and listen to the heart of God and listen to the word of God. And I believe that uh, really God give us a uh, blessing in your life. And also I wish also we can connect our the brother and sisters whose heart is far from church and also from the word of God. Also, you can... Uh, receive the heart of God and also connect with others. Amen. Today, uh, we want to study First uh, King chapter ten. First King chapter ten. First King chapter ten. Let's read from six. First King chapter ten from verse six. Uh, then she said to the king, it was a true report which I heard in my own land about your word and your wisdom. However, I did not believe the word until I came and saw with my own eyes. And indeed, the heart force not told me your wisdom and prosperity exceed the fame of which I heard. Happy are your men and happy are the, your, these your servants who stand continually before you and hear your wisdom. Blessed be the Lord your God who delight in you, setting you on the throne of Israel because the Lord has loved Israel forever. Therefore, he made you king to do just, justice and righteousness. Yeah, today, uh, in the morning, I have been leading uh, this uh, first king in chapter 10 story. I hope that also uh, all of you, you may know this word of God well about the uh, uh, Queen Seba. Is that right? Yes. I don't know my pro in English pronunciation is okay. Queen Seba. Uh, really, uh, when I was reading this word of God, uh, really, I was so, so surprised and happy the heart of this queen who came to Jerusalem to meet and uh, to meet Solomon and also uh, to hear his wisdom, which is coming from God. So really, I was able to see how she has such kind of precious, such kind of precious heart, such kind of precious heart uh, to come and hear the wisdom of God. Uh, really, this kingdom, uh, people they are expecting, they are thinking it is side of the um, uh, Savian kingdom, Savian kingdom, uh, which is around 2,400 kilometers far from Jerusalem. So Jerusalem, 2,400 kilometers. So she was coming from that distance to meet King Solomon to hear the word of God and also wisdom of God. So first, uh, I was able to see uh, and really I surprised with the heart of this queen. 
Really, this queen has a precious heart, precious heart to hear the wisdom of God and word of God. Uh, really, we are able to see in her heart, really, there was a great hunger of wisdom. Amen? Great hunger of wisdom. That's why, though it was so long journey, though it was very far, but she was able to come to Jerusalem and to meet Solomon. And after see the whole kingdom and hear the wisdom from Solomon, and really we are able to see how she surprised and praised the Lord and praised this kingdom. Amen. So really because there was how she was able to have such kind of the great happiness and great uh, surprise it is because really she was in hunger. Like someone who is hungry, someone who is hungry. And even though it is like chapati and chikomando, but really it is so delicious. What about, what about someone who is so full, someone who is full, even though you give them chicken soup or yamachoma, but if they are so full, though they may say they thank you, but it cannot have a great thankful heart in their heart, and also they will refuse. They will refuse, is it right? Yes, really we are able to see how this queen has that grateful heart and really praising heart, loving heart, envy heart towards them. How? Because really we can see that, yes, of course, also King Solomon has a wisdom from God. Yes, it is something surprised. But more biggest thing is we are able to see in the heart of this queen, there is great emptiness and hunger in her heart for this wisdom and the word of God. Amen. So really after she came here, she was able to bless and receive the grace of God. Really, I can see clearly. So really, uh, really I was able to see. Oh, uh, yet she is a queen of the kingdom. She would have a lot of money. Also, she has a great position. Is it right? But instead of she was focusing on those things and really she was able to focus to hear the wisdom of God. Because what about in our heart, like Solomon? You know, like when you get, uh, though you might, you, 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 you do not have a desire, but when you have a something small, that the small things make you to increase more desire and looking for more and more and more. Before, even though I have a small car, I would be happy because we used to walk, we don't have anything. But what about if I have a motorcycle, I would be happy. But after some time, of course, instead of continuing happy in our heart, we admire more things. We admire more hard things and more better ones. And if you have a small car, you would be happy. But after some time, you find that we admire another bigger one. We admire another better one. So really, our desire is endless. Is it right? Also, as you see this King Solomon, after he tests those, those the, the, the king from those ladies from those uh, Gentile country, what happened? You find he continued being another one, another one, another one. Almost it become 1,000. And continually uh, to make more worthy, what, what, but their desire is endless. Also, this king who came from this suba, yes, of course, she would have, she also, she might have her own desire. Is it right? Yes, she might have her own desire, what she was expecting. But you are able to see, but where she focused, she focused to hear, the wisdom of God. 
Amen. Though it takes a lot of journey, 2,400 kilometers. It was very, very far. Is it right? It was very, very far. Yet she has uh, that wisdom. Yeah, she has that heart. But really, you are able to see, you are able to see that uh, really she was focused to hear the wisdom of God. Really, everyone, really in our heart today, when I see the heart of this queen, I was so ashamed. What about in my heart, really, do I have that hunger to hear the wisdom of God? Really, in my heart, do I have that hunger to hear or eager heart, willing heart, to hear the word of God, to hear the wisdom of God? For us, easily, easily, we put our heart into another things. Is it right? We may put our heart to the business. We may put more focus to making the money. We may put more focus to making the good house. We may put more focus to, to do the good, to looking for good job, looking for beautiful wife, beautiful life. Really, we find that we, we really in our heart, we may focus other things. But today, when we see, when we see, Really, this heart of God. Really, this Queen Seba has a hunger, hunger to hear the wisdom of God, the word of God. Really, that heart was so, so precious. And also, what she said, with that, with that eyes, with that eyes, if you see what she said, happy are your men and happy are this your servant who stand continually before you and hear your wisdom amen really really in her eyes so envy with the people who hear who hear the or this wisdom of god in the house amen because really in in her heart, these people are so, so beautiful and blessed and happy peoples. But what about, what about the people who always stay in the house of Solomon and in the Jerusalem? Because sometimes they hear continually. They're really in our heart. We don't know how it is so blessed. Really, uh, every day we hear the word of God. In Good News Mission, they are full with the word of God. Is it right? In Good News Mission, every day, every day, we hear the word of God. Every day, every day, we listen to the word of God. Amen. Though we hear the word of God, we listen to the word of God. But what about in our heart? Even though we hear the word of God, but sometimes we just make it less, as usual. And when the time we listen continue and we are here, then really in our heart, we feel that we, we don't make it more value in our heart. We make it as no more like used up there, like in our life, isn't it? But what about uh, where can we listen the word of God in Good News Mission? Where can we listen the word of God? What you hear from Pastor Pa and servant of God in outside, where can you hear? I never see someone who preached the word of God in this way. I met so many people who are always demanding people and emphasizing human's effort. Is it right? Teaching them the law. Should you live in this way? Should you work like this? Should you live the, like this? If you do this, you will be blessed. You, if you bring money, give seed, you will get a blessing. You will be rich. Most of the pastors emphasizing human effort, our own determinations, and teach them the law to do it with their own effort. But really, I don't. I didn't see the people who hear the deliver the true heart of God and deliver the heart of God is a great wisdom. Now all over the world, the people they are coming to hear his message, but sometimes in our the, instead of we listen with a precious heart, 
we just listen with a tired mind. Ah, I'm tired of pastor preaching. Every day, every day, pastor preaching. For us, we, even some people may speak in this way. Even though they don't speak like this, in our heart, we may despise the servant of God. Is it right? So really, I, was, I can see clearly how this heart is so, so evil before God and funny before God. What this Bible say? Bless, bless, happy are your men and happy are these your servant who stand continually before you and hear your wisdom. Happy are your men. Amen. Happy are your men. Eh? Really, we are able to see how it is a blessing, how it is a blessing to hear the, the wisdom of God and word of servant of God. Amen. And also, even in the church, sometimes we compare someone who is in special duty, someone who doesn't have a duty, someone they are busy to do this work, someone is doing not much things. Yes, for us, we may see, uh, I'm doing nothing. But when I say others, they are busy, they are busy. But for me, I'm doing nothing. But what about in the eyes of this queen, even someone who just stand, also they are so happy person because he is in the same house to hear the wisdom of God and heart of God. Amen. Really, uh, because of we are in the grace, great grace, that's why really we despise this grace. We do not appreciate before God and really we make it more light and nothing. But it is not like this. So we are able to see how it is a blessing of God and grace of God to receive this grace to hear the word of servant of God. Amen. Even the position, though we are nothing but really the person who is standing, just the standing, but as long as can hear the wisdom of God and the word of God, really we can see that also it is so blessed in their eyes. Really, uh, today, uh, really we can see that nowadays, uh, uh, I can see the servant of God, through the servant of God, God delivered the great, uh, the word of great, delivered the word of God, all corner of the world. Amen? Is it right? But really sometimes in our heart, we despise the servant of God. We despise this word. If you see verse 24. Now all the earth saws the presence of Solomon to hear his wisdom, which God has put, had put in his heart. What is by all the earth south the presence of solomon to hear his wisdom yes now what you can see that what you can see that really a whole world whole earth to hear want to hear the wisdom from solomon i can see nowadays whole world they listen the word of servant of god amen really i can see that through the servant of god god delivered the gospel all common of the world. Amen. Really, I'm encouraging our uh, brothers and sisters. Really, the word of God, what we hear, really, this is the true wisdom of God, true grace of God, and all of the world, people, they want to hear. And what about you? You receive the special grace to hear this word of God every day. That is so blessing, blessing of God. Amen. Really, we may know clearly how it is so precious and blessing of God so that we may not uh, despise his wisdom and this word of God so we are able to serve God with joy and happiness. Amen. Really, today through this Queen's Ba, really, I could see clearly how she was able to, uh, how she was hungry towards wisdom of God and how she focused to hear the wisdom to come to Jerusalem, amen, and respect and bless all those peoples. In the same way, really, I admire that the heart of uh, this queen, really, God gave us an empty heart. God gave us humble heart to put our heart to focus, to listen to the word of God, to hear the word of God. Amen, amen. Yeah, we finish here. Thank you.